It's time for another English Tastic episode, where learning English is always fun and fantastic. I am Teacher Dash, your English Tastic teacher. Let us discover and learn new things in English 3, the Teacher Dash way. For today's episode, we will learn some words that have the same sounds or sometimes spelling that don't have the same meanings. Are you curious what these words are? I am here some jumbled letters that you have to arrange to unlock the answer. You have three seconds to do that. Time's up! Now, I know that you already have the answer. So, what do we call these words that have the same sounds or sometimes spelling but with different meanings? Yes, they are called homonyms. That's correct. What brilliant kids you are. Now, I'm excited to see you learn some homonyms and eventually use them appropriately in sentences. So kids, get ready with your pencil, paper, and self-learning module for today's English lesson, which is about homonyms. To start, let us play a game called Two Fix One Word. I will be showing you two pictures and you need to give a single name that fits the two. Please take note of the words because we will be using them later on. You have three seconds to name each pair of pictures. Here is the first one. Y is correct. Next. You got it! Scale is right! How about this? Yes! Ring is perfect! Then this? Amazing! That is correct! Now this! Good job! Chest is correct! Let's have another one! Perfect! We is right! And here comes the last one! Brilliant! Ruler is correct! Excellent job, kids! For that, I'll be giving you the name Master Batch! You will unlock some more English batches when you keep on doing great in our English activities! Let us read again the words that we had in our game. Please read with me. Fly, scale, ring, bat, and chest. You read very well, kids. Thank you for reading these words with me. These words are examples of homonyms. Do you know what these are? Let's break down this word into parts to understand where it came from. Let's start with the prefix homo, which comes from the Greek word homos to mean one and the same. So homonyms are words that have the same sound and or spelling, but they do not have the same meanings. Now let's have some examples of homonyms with the same sound and spelling, but with different meanings. Let's take the word watch. What comes to mind when you see or read the word watch? You might be thinking of it as something that you wear on your wrist, so you'll know what time it is. And some of you might understand it as something that you are doing right now, which is listening to me on TV. So, who do you think got the correct understanding of the word watch? If you're thinking either of the two meanings, then you are correct. The word watch can have two different meanings because it can either be a noun or a verb. Which of the two meanings describe watch as a noun and as a verb? Very good! Watch as a noun is a name of a thing that you wear on your wrist that tells time. While the watch as a verb is an action that you do when your favorite program or movie is shown on TV. 
Let me show you more examples of homonyms. Look at the word fly. If it is used as a noun, the word fly is an insect. And if it is used as a verb, the word fly is an act of moving through the air. We also have the word ruler. Ruler as a measuring instrument and ruler as a person exercising government or dominion. In this case, the word ruler is both used as a noun. The first ruler is an object while the second ruler is a person. Wave is also an example of homonyms. Wave as a noun is a body of water curling and breaking on the shore. And wave as a verb is a hand gesture used for saying hi, hello, or goodbye. This time, let us see if you can provide the correct pictures to complete the thought of the sentence. Let's do this activity. Choose the correct picture that best represents the underlined homonym in the sentence. Number one. A fly was buzzing against the window. Number two. King Harry was a firm ruler. Number three. Please wave when I call your name. Number four, take a right turn at the intersection. Number five, we went for a walk in the park. Great job, kids! For that, I will be giving you the Picture Master Badge. This time, I want you to complete the following sentences based on how the given homonyms are used. Our answers may vary, but it's okay as long as it supports the meaning of the given homonym. You have three seconds to answer each item. Number one. The bats in the dark cave are blank. What would you feel if you saw some bats inside a dark cave? Would you feel scared? Alright, so we can say, the bats in the dark cave are scary. So what's the meaning of the word bats in that sentence? Very good! The word bats refers to animals. Number two. My name starts with the letter blank. Names are unique. It starts with different letters and mine starts with the letter D. The word letter here talks about the letter in the alphabet and not the letter as a form of communication. Number three, the leaders address the blank. In this sentence, do you think the word address refers to a place? No, so if it's not a place, it's an act of speaking to or coming up with solutions. Therefore, I could say the leaders address the problems. Number four, I am right. My answers are blank. I am right. My answers are correct. In this sentence, right is used to show affirmation and not direction. Number five. The key was hanging on a nail by the blank. What does the word nail refer to in this sentence? Could it be a small metal spike used for construction? You got it! So we can say, the key was hanging on a nail by the door. Excellent work, children! Now, here is your sentence master badge. Keep up the good work! 
Again, please remember that homonyms are words with the same sound and sometimes spelling, but they don't have the same meaning. Like watch, wave, write, bat, letter, ruler, nail, part, fly, and many more. Let us try to look for other homonyms in this word search puzzle. What are the homonyms that you see in the puzzle? Sink, ring, band, palm, scale. Could you please choose at least one word from the word search puzzle and tell your mom, dad, or any member of your family the two meanings of your chosen word? Alright, English Tastic Work Children, I think you deserve this Puzzle Master Badge! Please remember that homonyms are words that are spelled the same or sound the same but have different meanings. Today, we focus on homonyms with words that are spelled the same. So as your assignment, please look for some homonyms that are not spelled the same but sound the same and with different meanings like sail, S-A-I-L, and sail, S-A-L-E, or eight, A-T-E, and eight, E-I-G-H-T. That's it for today, kids. I hope you have learned something new about homonyms. Always remember, understanding word meanings makes you a good reader. Reading helps build your vocabulary. And when you practice the skill of reading with understanding, you will gain more knowledge which you can use at home, in school, and in your community. See you again in the next English Tastic episode where we will continue discussing a kind of homonyms with words having different spellings and meanings but with the same sound. Once again, I am Teacher Dash, your English Tastic teacher. And this is DevEd TV, where you will find your 21st century on the go learning. Bye kids, see you then!